So uh, today in engineering economics, under second unit, that is a value engineering, we will see about uh, time value of money, single payment compound amount factor, single payment present worth factor. Okay, so uh, the textbook which I'm going to use is prescribed textbook from the syllabus, Anir Silvam R, Engineering Economics. So already for the basic concept regarding the um, simple interest, compound interest, and uh, what is interest, and uh, all other data which I have uh, already provided in the previous video. So you can kindly check out the basic concepts um, there in the pre previous video. Uh, so I'm just directly going on to the uh, time value of uh, money. So uh, time value of money is um, all about, uh, we are knowing that uh, money has the ability to earn interest. So its uh, value increases with time, right? So uh, say uh, that uh, as this uh, money has the ability to earn interest and uh, we are also knowing that the money increases in the value as we move on from the present to the future. And also it must decrease in value as we move from future to the present. Uh, so to make you to more understandable, then uh, we can say that uh, present worth of uh, 140 rupees is uh, 100. If, uh, in, if interest rate is 7% per year and uh, with a period of uh, five years. And also that for understanding that uh, money increases with time, that is the value of money increases with time to understand that we can place an instance that uh, uh, say for an example that uh, 100 rupees today is equivalent to 140 rupees. That is with the seven percentage of uh, interest for about, uh, say, for the period of five years. Right? Well, so uh, it's all about uh, having an idea to have the money today than in future, right? So uh, the money can earn compound interest and uh, it is more valuable in present than the future. And also the, it's totally depends upon uh, about the receiving money to today rather than the same amount of money in the future because the money's potential value to grow is uh, higher when it is comes to the uh, given certain period of uh, time right so uh, again uh, for an instance we can say that the money deposited in a savings account earns a certain interest rate, right? And uh, yeah, and that's what we call it as uh, compounding its value, right? So here in this book also, they have given an instance that a person has received a prize from a finance company during the recent festival contest. So, but the prize will be given in either in two modes. The two modes prize, which you can get it is on the spot payment of 24 rupees 72 paise, or else after 10 years, uh, they will be giving you 100 rupees with the interest of 15 percentage interest rate, right? So, uh, So you can also see that um, if the prize winner has a, have a no better choice that uh, can yield more than 15 percentage of interest computed annually, 
then uh, if uh, the 15 percentage component annually is the common interest rate of the, all the finance companies then there is no any differences so whether he's going to get the same money now or else uh, later in the uh, 10 years after okay on the other hand that uh, we can also assume that the prize winner has its um, own business where wherein that he can uh, get a yield of 24 interest than the 15 percentage compounded annually so which means that uh, he prefers to get the money now so that he can utilize it in the business and he can find the profit right so that means that uh, according to him that if he's going to invest it then definitely he'll get it uh, after, after the 10 years later he'll get it um, uh, 212 rupees 45 pounds. okay so uh, this is the example uh, given for uh, time value of money in this okay so next we will go on to single payment compound amount see single payment compound amount fact so the single payment compound amount of factor uh, to understand this single payment uh, uh, compound amount factor so you have to understand that the uh, it is a, it is all about the single payment is made after certain period of time so that certain period of a time is your end, end periods okay so also the interest earned at the end of each period is charged on the total amount owned so the total amount owned is your principal as well as interest okay so here they have given an uh, example so in this example and also you can see the formulas given like the formula to obtain the single payment compound amount is f is equal to p into one plus i power n okay so that is where so f is your uh, f is your future amount at the end of uh, the year um, and p is the principal uh, i mean uh, or uh, i mean p is the principal amount okay and uh, i is your uh, interest rate and n is the period okay fine so let's move on to the problem to understand this concept uh, as I said earlier, the concept that uh, suppose if a person is going to deposit some amount of money uh, as of now, so with an interest amount of uh, say, for example, 10 percentage of an uh, interest compounded annually. So what he will going to get the amount, what will be the amount which he is going to have as a matured value after 10 or 20 years later. That is a concept with a single payment compound amount. Okay. So here the, uh, the example given is the a person deposits a sum of 20,000 rupees at the interest rate of 18% compounded annually for 10 years. Find the maturity value after 10 years. So here you can understand that they have given the principal, that is a P, so 20,000, and I is 18% compounded annually, and it with a period of a 10 years so here they have given the period of a 10 years okay so that will be your yen and uh, they're asking for the matured value which you can get it after 10 years okay fine so again you can use the formula f is equal to p into one plus i power n and get the future amount So, uh, if you see here, a person deposits an amount of rupees um, one lakh in a bank for his son education, who will be admitted to a professional course after six years. The bank pays fifteen percent interest rate compounded annually. Find the future amount of the deposit deposited amount at the time of admitting his son in the professional course. So this is saying that is a single uh, payment compound amount. So here they have given the principal P. So that is uh, one lakh rupees. And uh, also uh, given the period is uh, six years and interest rate is of 15 years. I mean, sorry, 15 percentage 
uh, compounded uh, annually. Okay, so compounded annually means that one year compounded each and every year. Okay, fine. So uh, it is asked to find that how much uh, amount uh, should you deposit at the time of admitting his son in the professional course. Okay, what else in the maturity amount you can say that. Okay, so again, you can use the same formula which we have mentioned in uh, in this uh, single payment uh, compound amount, and you can proceed the problem. Okay, so try to solve this problem. Okay, I mean the solve the problem which I have uh, shown in the page number forty from the PDF file, okay, or else 39 from textbook, a uh, third question, okay. Okay, so moving on to the next, so in this that uh, it's given single payment present worth amount, right? Single payment present worth Uh, so under single worth uh, present uh, factor is uh, to make you to understand about this, I'll give you one example. At, uh, uh, say for an example that you are wanting some amount of money. Uh, say for an example, you're wanting 20 lakhs of uh, money uh, in uh, 20 years from now. Okay, so... Uh, you should know that uh, what would be the amount which you can deposit now so that uh, you can get the desired amount after 20 years. Okay, so also with some kind of an interest, right? Okay. So for this that uh, they have given the objectives to find the present worth the uh, amount P of a single future sum F which will be received after N periods at the interest rate of I compounded at the end of every interest period. Okay. So here we are having a formula that P is equal to F divided by one plus I power N. Okay, so uh, this P by F and I N is your um, single payment present worth factor. Okay, so I have already mentioned what is a P and F. So P is your principal amount invested and F is your future amount. I is the interest and N is the period. Okay, so moving on to a problem. So in this problem, if you see clearly, then a person wishes to have a future sum of rupees 1 lakh for his son's education after 10 years from now which is the single payment that he should deposit now so that he gets the desired amount after 10 years. The bank gives 15% interest rate compounded annually. So here we are, they have given a one lakh rupees as an amount. So that is a future sum. So future EF is given. Okay. And, uh, and also education, but the period is also given that is a 10 years of now and um, what will be amount you're supposed to pay now so that you will get the future amount okay so also they have given an uh, interest rate of 15 percent okay so now you can use the same form of uh, same formula which we have mentioned in this um, single payment present worth amount okay So uh, if is uh, if divided by one plus i power n, okay, and you can substitute all the, uh, I mean, uh, all the data which is given in the question, and you can find the answer as it is. Okay. So now to understand the difference between your um, single payment present worth amount and uh, a single payment uh, compound amount. So under a single payment compound amount, you are going to find the future sum. That is EF. You're going to find the future sum. And uh, 
here in the single payment present birth period, they are going to give you the future amount and uh, uh, they are asking you to find the present amount which you are supposed to deposit so that you can get the, um, uh, the same future amount which you are desired with. Okay, I hope you're able to understand the differences. I will move on to the question bank series. So in the question bank series, uh, uh, yeah, first question, you can see that uh, a person needs a sum of rupees uh, 2 lakhs for his uh, daughter's marriage, which will take place 15 years from now. Find the amount of money that he deposit, he should deposit now in the bank if the bank gives 18 percentage interest compounded annually. So uh, the person needs a sum of 2 lakhs uh, rupees. Um, so in the future, that is will be taking place after 15 years, so which means that the future amount is given, the F is equal to 2 lakhs rupees is given. And for the period of a 15 years, so period E is, I mean, sorry, uh, period is uh, your N, right? So N is given 15 years. And um, interest rate I is also given as 18 percentage. Now you can find the present amount which you're supposed to get. It. I mean, which you can save it for, uh, receiving the future amount of uh, 2 lakh rupees. Okay, so now try to solve this fourth question. So again, uh, from the PDF file, you can see that 48 page number or is the book or page number 39. So question number four, you can try to solve this question. Right? So in the next video, We will see about equal payment series sinking fund factor, equal payment series payment present worth factor, equal payment series capital recovery factor. Okay, so we will see these three uh, set of uh, things in the uh, next video. So if you have any questions, uh, then you can just uh, mail to me or else you can put your queries in the uh, Google Classroom or else in the WhatsApp group, okay? So questions will be answered shortly once I receive your uh, questions. Thank you.